Welcome to Blossoming by Grace and Grit. This is message 592. The name of our devotional today is Faithful with Little. But first, let us pray. My Father, my God, great is your name, my God. Thank you so much, my Father, for you are faithful, my God, and wisdom only comes from you. Thank you, God, that you are great and that you are mighty my Lord God, and to be revered as the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, my God, thank you, Father. As today we say thank you, we are so grateful. Thank you, my Father, for everything that you do for us, what you've done and what you will do, my Father. Thank you so much for new seasons, God. Thank you for new beginnings, for you bless us when we trust in you. May your will be done, my Father. On earth as it is in heaven, may your will be done in our lives, my God, for the person who has eyes to see and ears to hear, the person that has the vision to discern, my Father, will be blessed because that person puts their trust in you. And I am so thankful for small beginnings, those beginnings that we should never despise, my Father, For in those small beginnings, there is big promotions, big favor, big grace, and big provision, my God. My Lord God, thank you so much for Ephesians 3.20. And it reads, Now all glory to God who is able, through his mighty power at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. You are in Ephesians 3.20, God, my Lord God. You are the only one that can open doors that no man can close, and you are the only one that can close doors that no man can open. We thank you for favor and grace. We thank you, Lord, for your blessings seen and unseen. We thank you, Lord, for who you are in our lives, for what you do, my God. My Father, thank you for the wisdom Thank you for your love, my Father, and your mercies that are fresh and new every morning. We praise you and we thank you. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Faithful with little. The scripture reading is from Luke chapter 16, verse 10, and it reads, Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. In Luke 16, verse 10, Jesus teaches us an important principle about faithfulness and integrity. He explains the way that we handle small responsibilities is a reflection of how we will manage greater ones. This verse challenges us to consider how we are stewarding the little things in our lives, knowing that our faithfulness in these areas is crucial to our spiritual growth and future opportunities. The importance of small things. Sometimes we may overlook or undervalue the small tasks and responsibilities in our life. However, Jesus reminds us that how we handle the little things matters greatly whether it's being diligent in our daily work, keeping our promises or showing kindness in small ways, our faithfulness in these areas reflects our character and readiness for greater responsibilities. God often uses small assignments as a training ground for larger purposes. By being faithful in the little things, we develop the skills, the habits, and attitudes necessary for greater tasks. It's in the small, everyday moments that God shapes our character and prepares us for future opportunities. And I know this full well because it's happened to me several times in my personal life. Um, In this job that I have right now, I moved from another city and when I accepted the job, I also accepted a pay cut and I trusted God that he was going to give me the favor and the grace 
and that whatever his will was for my life, I would accept it. I knew that if I took this pay cut because I liked the company and I liked the vision and the mission of the company and whatever, all of the reviews and I, I wanted to get into a different field and, and I just felt in my heart when I was doing the interview that that was the job and that was the company. I liked the bosses, I liked the administrative team. And so I took a pay cut because I knew that God would work out everything for my good. And, and now it turns out that that small beginning that I accepted and I trusted God, that pay cut has resulted in a new career, in more opportunities greater favor, greater grace, um, more provision. And so I have the opportunity that God has given me for more flexibility, more time. And I am so grateful today because this message really hits home. I also want to share with you uh, the story of my friend that also took a pay cut several years ago. She also trusted God in small beginnings. She had been in the art consulting business for many years. She had made six figure income. And one day her friend um, asked her to come and work with him in an assisted living facility. She had never done it. It was a totally new career. She had to study different, uh, she had to take different classes and uh, study all the rules and the regulations. Well, two years later, she had the opportunity of putting some people together and, um, and she was offered the opportunity of selling these ALFs, the assisted living facilities. Lo and behold, she sold two big assisted living facilities and her commission was like $125,000. And looking back in retrospect and everything that God did in her life was truly amazing because God is that God. He is an Ephesians 3.20 God. All the glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. This is the God that we serve. That when we put our trust in him, God uses those small beginnings as our training ground. And when we look at things from the world's point of view, we're going to say, oh no, I'm not going to take a pay cut. You know, it's less money. Um, and we look at the money and we look at things from the world's point of view. But when we, we are in Christ and we know how God works, we can accept a pay cut because we know that God is going to work everything for our good because he is going to make the small into big make the small beginnings okay that the bible says do not despise small beginnings because from there god can do miraculous things he can grow you he can promote you he can do incredible things that you would not even imagine and so after the fact after uh, the the small has become big then you have this amazing testimony of the miracle that God did in your life and then you're going to say wow I did I did well I really made the right decision in trusting God with the small and look how it became um, a new career a new promotion a new job a new opportunity a new business um, it, it's, it, it can be limitless to what God can do in our lives when we put our trust in him. And faithfulness is just not, it's not just about being trustworthy with the big visible responsibility. 
It's about maintaining integrity in all areas of life, even when no one is watching. Yesterday, my boss, um, one of our employees was asking for a raise and um, she just started working with us uh, in April. Um, but there were other things to consider, uh, her past experience, and different things, uh, good things that she has that makes her into a commodity. And so um, I, my boss, I asked her for a raise for this girl. And she said um, that she didn't think that we could do it, um, that she had just been working with us since April and it was too soon and different things. And so I, I, I wrote back and I said, okay, it's your call. So my boss calls me and we had a discussion about the different uh, things, why, whether we should give her the raise or whether we shouldn't. And, um, and my boss finally said, you know what? I trust your judgment. If you wanna give her a raise, go ahead and just have this talk with her and tell her X, Y, Z. And, uh, but I, I trust your judgment. So do whatever you think is right. And for me, that was an amazing, um, an amazing proof of trust because I have been faithful with the small. I have been faithful in so many different things in, in different areas of my job. And when someone says to you, I trust you, I trust your judgment, do whatever you think is right. Um, when it has to do with their business and their money, you know, and their finances, um, it was a major, major act of, of honor and faithfulness from God. And I was, I felt very grateful to the Lord, very grateful because um, he has shown me in this season of my life working administratively with this company that he has been all over it he has been in it um he was the one that prompted me to accept this job and i have represented him to the best of my ability and uh jesus teaches us and encourages us to be consistent in our honesty in our diligence and in our commitment, whether we are handling something seemingly insignificant or something important. The Bible is clear that God notices and rewards faithfulness. Jesus tells us that those who are faithful with little will be entrusted with much. This principle applies not only in this life, but also in the life to come. Our faithfulness on earth has eternal significance as God entrusts us with greater responsibilities in his kingdom. It is easy to become discouraged or impatient when we feel like we're being stuck in small, unnoticed tasks, or we are being stuck in a small um, salary. Of course, everyone knows, you know, Everyone knows the privacy of their financial situation. Everyone knows what they need in order to survive. And, you know, so it's a matter of making a decision that is appropriate for your own life. But also every decision that we make, we should honor the Lord and we should trust in him, trust in his capacity to do good in our lives. Trust him that he is a good God and that when we put our trust completely and utterly without reserve, that he will do big things in our lives. It is the little things that please God. And it is a necessary step towards greater things. And we can find contentment and purpose in every situation. God values our faithfulness, no matter the size of the task. And we have to move away from the thought that God doesn't see or God doesn't notice or God is not interested. God notices and he sees everything. And so 
what we do in private, what we do in the dark, what we do when no one is looking, that is what God uses to honor us in public. Reflect on the small responsibilities and tasks in your life. Are these areas where you need to be more faithful or diligent? How can you approach these tasks with a sense of purpose, knowing that your faithfulness in the little things is important to God? Consider how God might be using these small opportunities to prepare you for greater and better things. We will never despise small beginnings, my father, because now we understand that you can do great things, mighty things, miraculous things with small beginnings. Thank you so much, my Lord. Heavenly Father, thank you for the reminder that faithfulness in the little things is important to you. Help us to be trustworthy and diligent in every area of our lives, knowing that how we handle small responsibilities reflects our readiness for greater ones. Give us the strength and the commitment to be faithful, even in the tasks that seem insignificant. We trust that as we are faithful with little, you will entrust us with more and more according to your will. In Jesus' name, amen. My friend, I encourage you to play in the light, play in the sunshine and dance in the rain. Remember that God loves you so very, very much. Stay grateful. Look all around you. Blessings and God is always speaking. Until we meet again, have a blessed day. This is a prayer to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Father God, thank you so much, my Lord, for Jesus. Thank you so much that I realize that I am a sinner and that I need a Savior, God. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the precious blood that was shed on the cross at Calvary for me, for my sins. Lord Jesus, I ask you forgiveness for every one of my sins. I ask you, Lord Jesus, to come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. I give you my word that from this day forward, I will follow you. I will read the word, I will go to church, and I will spend time with you, Lord Jesus. I want to get to know you more. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for making something of my life that is worthwhile, something wonderful. Thank you, Lord, for accepting me as your son, as your daughter, into the kingdom of God. Thank you, Lord, for your love, for your great grace. In your name I pray, Lord Jesus. Thank you for receiving me today. Amen. My friend, if you have made this prayer, if you have said this prayer, I congratulate you for because today there is a celebration in heaven. The Bible says that when one sinner repents, there is a celebration. In other words, there is a party in the kingdom of God. And so I congratulate you because it is the absolute best decision that you will ever make or have ever made in your life. Many blessings to you and to your family. In Jesus' name, amen.